Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today, we are going to be watching Hacksaw Ridge from 2016. I've really been looking forward to watching this one ever since I watched Saving Private Ryan and all of you guys kind of commented, you need to watch Hacksaw Ridge now. So I wanted to give myself a little time to get in the right headspace because I know it's going to be really emotional. I am looking forward to it. I've heard it's an excellent movie, but also that it's very intense. If any of you guys are interested in getting early access to these YouTube videos, I do put these up usually about a week early over on my Patreon, so you can find the link down below. I also do the full length watch along versions and polls to decide what I watch. And I also watch some exclusive TV shows over there. I've done True Detective, I've done The Mandalorian. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out below. And if not, no worries at all. You guys know I love hanging out with you here on YouTube, chatting in the comments, and it is just super helpful for me and the channel if you could give a like and a subscribe, and I really appreciate it. All right, guys, let's get into this. Here we go. Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge. A true story. Oh, it just gives me chills to think whatever I'm gonna see is all true. Jeez. Have you not I have chills the all Lord over my body. The everlasting God, those who hope in the Lord, they will soar on wings like eagles. I have chills and goosebumps. Virginia, 16 years earlier. This is young Andrew Garfield. One hand. Wow. Get away from that land, you damn fool! <laughs> It's them dolls, kids. They dug up the corner of Jackson and Maine. I didn't know he was in this, huh? I bet there'll be lots of famous people in it, actually. It's like I died with you. How's this their dad? Is this just what boys Walk do? In with your right, My sister and I never did this. Oh, whoa, careful, bud. What the hell are you doing? You can't hear me! Didn't kill him, did he? She's just gonna whip him. He's violent enough already. Yes. I was gonna be okay. He, f he feels bad, man. He regrets it. He learned his lesson. I could have killed him. Yes, you could have. Murder, it's the worst sin of all. I hate him. Yeah. Mama? It's just so sad. This is just the way it was, you know? He hates himself. I wish mm -hmm. you knew him like I did before the war. That's the other thing. I mean, war messes with you. Oh. <laughs> nice work. You might have saved this boy's life. Uh, yeah, sir. So Is he like getting inspired? Oh, he fancies the nurse. I see. What do you need? My belt. I lent it to the boy who had the, had the accident. I'm just here to take blood. Does she like him too? You ever given blood before, Mr. Doss? Met someone yesterday. Name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. Does she know that? About to. Come give your brother a big I hug. I wonder how old they are here. <laughs> well, that's adorable. He's going through the woods back to the hospital to see Dorothy, and he's gonna marry her. Oh, he's very sweet. I hope they do let him become a doctor. Maybe he can learn under somebody. We can't take your blood two days in a row. That's good. I came to get mine back. I need it back. <laughs> well, it don't work like that. Ever since you stubbed me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. Oh, it's pretty corny. Damn, I, I don't practice that all night. No good? I didn't say that. Yay, they're gonna fall in love. What's the difference between an artery and a vein? I think you need to practice your boy-girl date and talk at home. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'll give you a book if you're that interested. Yeah, give him a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. They are so sweet. <laughs> Holy. You need to watch where you're going. Nice. <laughs> you didn't ask. <laughs> Thought you might have liked it. Well, I might have if you'd asked. Oh, come on. She liked it. You coming? <laughs> okay, this guy better not get hit by a car. It's not killing in a war. Working in a paper mill ain't gonna save this country. Get out of my sight. I wonder if that was common. Like, the dads who'd been in war before did, wouldn't have wanted their sons to go. 
Oh, and gave her a little feather. Is this where they used to go as kids? Are you gonna help me? But it's gonna cost you a kiss. That is pure blackmail. Well, yes, ma'am. Oh, hold on now. You ain't gonna slap me, are you? Kiss me and find out. Oh, true love. What? Ask her to marry you. I have to enlist. Oh. I won't be a medic. I figure I'll be saving people, not killing them. So are you going to ask me to marry you or what? <sighs> I don't know. You're still going to have me? But you haven't asked. With all my heart and then some, you marry me? Then yes. Oh. It would be so hard to be in love with someone and marry them and know they're going off to war. But I still don't like you at this moment. Okay, well, I love you. Yes. They're very sweet. Yeah. His dad is not going to take friends. this well. I don't want to have to visit my sons here. Daddy, I, I signed up already. But you figure this war is just going to fit in with you? Your ideas? You won't be giving no thanks to God. Here. You keep it right here. I can't imagine. I love you. Well, that's sweetie. It's a picture of her. So young. The testicles there belong to a man calling himself Hollywood. Please don't stab him in the toes. Ass, tending their card shots. No. Wondering how many of these guys are gonna die. Oh, dude. Is that Vince Vaughn? You are a very strange looking individual. How long have you been dead, son? The name is Ghoul, you say? Walker. Ghoul it is. Yes, Sergeant! Ghoul. That's awful. <laughs> Just the naked guy. There's something off in your presentation. I have a knife in my foot, Sergeant. Yeah. You look part Indian. No, sir. Are you contradicting me? Let me see your Indian war cry, son! Jeez. Are you grinning at me, boy, or is that your natural state? No, Sergeant. I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. <laughs> Everyone outside, now! I believe any man who takes such pride will surely enjoy the brisk of the outdoors. Gonna make him go naked. I'm gonna teach you how to tie a bowline knot. Have you ever looked into a goat's eyes? <laughs> no, sir. Good, that would be unnatural. I mean, I don't know if this guy's supposed to be funny, but he's saying some crazy stuff. One for each titty, not building a bra. <laughs> what is so funny, Corporal? I mean, he's been the smiliest guy this whole movie so far, so I think his natural state is just to be grinning. Down, 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 <laughs> Corporal, <laughs> come on! <laughs> Killing it. Go, don't kick him. <laughs> Get out of here. Hustle. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Standard issue U.S. rifle. Fellas, let's dance. Grab a girl. Yeah, I'm wondering how Das is gonna do with all this other army training. Place the weapon by your side. You're not going I to get was, one? I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. I can't touch a gun. I told the Interesting. I, I joined it's not up. possible. He's a CO. You're a conscientious objector. Oh. I'm a conscientious cooperator. A CO? I've never heard of that. Carrying a gun and taking a human life. Do you have any other requirements with the United States Army? And he doesn't want to. I'm very work surprised on Saturday, by sir. this. I'm not allowed to work then. Psychiatric discharge. Private Psychiatric Dost discharge. Not Do not look to him to save you. Some of you might have strong feelings about this. Even if Private Doss's beliefs might cause women and children to die. To give Private Doss the full measure of respect he is due. They are not gonna like this. What you got there, Desi? Are you thinking better than this? But what if he was attacked? Huh. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. The Bible says to turn the other cheek, don't it? Are you chicken shit, that in? Go on. I mean, he signed up, he volunteered. He's not a chicken. If anything, he's bravery because he's not gonna carry a gun. What is this? Whoa. Give me that. Please. Please. But I understand that God talks to you. Sir, I'm not a crazy person. I'm, I'm different, I know that, but I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. I am what I am. I just simply believe what I believe. Well, I'm very shocked that he winds up in the army after this. This is Satan himself we're fighting. And that is why I joined up. But I'm sorry, I will not bear arms. This is the they only case like this? Do grounds for Section 8 discharge. You must be allowed to work as a combat medic, provided he qualifies in all other areas. Is this normal in the army? Like, how... Like, how often do we do they get people like this? Perhaps we could help make leaving his idea 
You throw hell right at him. It's a pit stop! Everybody in full gear for a 20 mile hike! Oh. Knock it off! Why the hell are you still here? He, needs to, he is making it so How's much harder on himself, but he must really be strong in what he believes. It's about the lives of every man in here and your son. It's time you quit this. Can't. Are they gonna learn to respect him? Can you identify the men that beat you? I never said I was attacked, son. I, I sleep pretty hard. Plan on getting wet this weekend. Make sure you put on a hat. I'm afraid I can't authorize your pass. This is a furlough for men who have passed. I, I put in for this furlough three weeks ago. I'm getting married. Provided he qualifies in all other areas. <sighs> he won't. I won't touch it, right? Won't touch it. I'm not asking you, private! Refuse. You will spend the duration of the war in a military prison. I, this How is so hard. How would you like to wait, Darlene? I think it's been long enough. I hope she understands. It's not his fault. He didn't stand her up. But I mean, we saw the first scene. He's in the war and he gets hurt, so I know that they send him. <laughs> Super strength, man. But what do you do when everything you value in this world is under attack? I ain't got answers to questions that big. I also feel like my values are under attack. If one of them attacks you and some wounded soldier, what are you gonna do? I'm prepared to give my life. Let the brave men out there go and win this war. <gasps> Yay, okay, good. At least they can see each other. I knew it wasn't your making. I'm being treated like a criminal just because I won't kill. But who are you gonna save him? Is he gonna have to do it? Just pick up the stupid gun and wave it around. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I mean, he's a principled guy. I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. Much less how you could live with me. I mean, you have to respect him. Yeah, she must love him so much. He's a good man. Whoa. I wish to speak to Brigadier General Musgrove. That would be quite impossible. He was my captain. Maybe this guy can help him. You'll be home safe and sound like nothing ever happened. That's not what he wants. Why don't they just let him be a medic? Private Doss wishes to enter a not guilty plea. I thought this was agreed. Private Doss waves his morality at us. Maybe his dad can do okay, something. Okay, now you go take this in there. I can't. Strictly military personnel. What is it? What is it? What is it? Do you deny disobeying Colonel Sangston's direct orders? No, sir, I don't. Why are you contesting it then? Because when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, I took it personal. It isn't right that other men should fight and die. I got the energy and the passion to serve as a medic, right in the middle with the other guys. Just the world him. so set on tearing itself doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. The facts of the charge seem incontestable, so. Oh, he sees his dad there. You are no longer a member of the military. Is that truly the way it works, sir? What does this paper say? I need to know. It's so nice that his dad got to go. S you must go. Stick up for him. The defendant's rights are protected by an act of <sighs> Congress, and he cannot be compelled to waive those rights. You are free That's to it. run into the hellfire of battle Yay. without a yeah. single weapon to protect yourself. Better make it count, guys. He's going to war. You bet. Okinawa, 1945. I'm curious to see what is like what the other guys think of him by the time they get there. These are the guys we're replacing. Jeez. You and me and Paige here about the only medics we got left. I guess we're gonna be working together. What's it like? Looks bad. I saw. Nips don't care if they live or die. They keep coming at you. And they ain't never gonna give up. Lose all your Red Cross markings. Nips put a premium on shooting medics. I was wondering about that. Like, wouldn't the bad guys be targeting him? Axel Rich! A pals in the Navy are gonna soften him up for us. Man, this is gonna be bad. Move out! What's that from? We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ugh. Oh my god, there's maggots. Ah! 
Oh my god. I can't see nothing! Where the fuck? It's gonna use the massive shield? Oh my god. Is that one? Not an old shoot! Alright, let's go! Oh, I'm behind you. Oh my god. Is that Tesman? You are? I'm fine. This guy's protecting him. Oh my god, his legs. I don't know if that guy can be saved. I don't know. Give me a shot of morphine to move out. Please, Tesman! I'm gonna get you home. Here comes the morphine. Here comes the morphine. Yeah, give him morphine for the pain. <gasps> He'll be dead before we get him down. You don't know that. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't even know what to say. Like, you do have to triage in that situation. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. We can't see them, and they can't see us neither. I mean, Desmond is the kind of guy that would want to save Got everyone. This whole thing just makes me want to cry. It just. Whoa. Oh my god. I just have like a lump in my throat. It just. This whole thing. It's just people hurting other people. How does it come to this, you know? It's just the one guy. Come on, stick it. Oh no. Look out, he's right there. He's going right up to the little window. What is that? Wow. I just feel sick watching this. Oh my god, they're right in each, like, hand to hand. Grenade, oh. Shit. He's alive. Hey, what's your name? Andy. Also known as? Ghoul. 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 Hold this spot. We mop up the rest of the ridge tomorrow. It just seems impossible, you know? Still more wounded out there, Sarge. I'll go with him. Oh. This guy's like protecting him. Nelly and Henry dead in the first 15 minutes. In peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. Yeah. Put your helmet on. Yeah, he's taking care of them. I don't eat meat. How about you? I hear you, bro. I don't eat meat either. That's one heck of a dame. She you is. You know you're fighting out of your weight class with her, don't you? She'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. Yeah, until she got to know you. I'm an asshole sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> yeah, all right. It's just rats. Um, imagine being surrounded by bodies of guys that you know. Oh, God. Oh, Frig, he's just having nightmares. I can't do nothing. Rifle's just here. It won't bite. Yeah, it will. Look around you. Any sane man would be screaming for a weapon. My daddy's a drunk. Mine could have been any one of ten guys, none of them worth a damn. But now they judge people quicker, and I got you very wrong. That's nice. My daddy used to beat me and my brother, but when he would do it to our mama. Pull the damn trigger! Stop it! Stop! Oh, man. But you didn't kill him. In my heart, I did. <laughs> so that's when I made my promise to God I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. Well, I ain't giving you mine because you're crazy. Oh, wow. <gasps> Battle's on. Oh, my God. That's so many. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was just, I guess, a matter of time until they figured that out. Is that the other medic? Shoot. Oh, God. Don't eat plasma. Give it to him. 
I'll be okay. Go. Uh, Come on. You just, you can't win, you know? F it's just gonna blow himself up. They're all dying. I'm scared. No, don't, don't, don't you do that. You gotta move. Oh, God. Can you save him? Come on, let's move. Come on. Can't help him, buddy. He's gone. He's gone. I can't hear you. All right. Is he gonna go back? No. Right with Ford, how many? 32 only came down, sir. Good lord. 32. Desmond's still up there. Help me. I'm coming back. We're on the edge, Jerry. How's he gonna get them down? The the knot that he learned? Yeah. Oh my god. He's doing all of this by himself. Come on, somebody see him and then help. Wow. We just lost our cover. <gasps> he doesn't have a gun. Yeah. Oh. No. Stay down, man. I don't know. You don't have to trust me. Take a breath. You don't know if your men up there are dead or alive. Then give me the reinforcement. It'll take more than a day to get men in here. I need them faster than that. <sighs> so dangerous. Oh, they saw him. They saw him. They saw him. Oh my god. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> oh my god. Jesus. Holy sh. What is he going to do? Is he going to help him? It's a good man. He's just checking every single one. I can't see. Try now, try now. I thought he was blind. I wonder how many men he got down there. This guy. Well, so you don't have to hold a gun to be brave, you know? Please, Lord, help me get one more. Just went all night. He must be exhausted. One more. Help me get one more. One more. Help me get one more. Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Even lowered a couple of japs. They didn't make it. <sighs> He's still alive. Private cornstock. And girls will still won't kiss you. <laughs> get out of here. I'm coming back. Damn. I can't believe what this guy did. Our guys have been coming down in droves all night. What the hell is this? Hey, cat. Tell him you did it. How'd you get down, son? Doss. Just Doss. Just Doss. Doss the coward. It's no coward. Put your helmet back on. Stay down, man. Stay down. Stay down. Don't. 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 Whoa, nice shot, I guess. You're like I'm on a shoe, ain't you? Give me this. <laughs> What's he doing? Yeah. You gotta go. Well. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me, Cornstone. You're trying to bowline, boy, not building a bra. 
There's no time. He doesn't have enough time. Get up! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can you get down? Can you get down? Doss is still up there. He's got chaps on his tail. Jesus. Are you wounded? No. I know he's a hero. So much blood. Where's Irv? Give me a shake to their medic. He died of shock. No plasma. Alyssa was a skinny kid. I've never been more wrong about someone in my life. Mm -hmm. I hope one day you can forgive me. We have to go back up tomorrow. I realize that tomorrow is your Sabbath. You're gonna let him have it off? Most of these men don't believe the same way you do. But they believe so much in how much you believe. And they're not gonna go up there without you. <sighs> We're waiting, sir. Waiting for what? Private Doss to finish praying for us, sir. Who the hell wow. is Private Doss? Wow. I can't believe they just have to keep going again and again. And then I think Daz gets hurt this time. Look at all the bodies. They surrendered. They're gonna blow themselves up. Get it. Is that guy gonna kill himself? He got it. You're going home, Desmond. We've taken an axe off. Desmond. Is he gonna be okay? Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Seventy-five. He lived. Grand please help me get one more. Anyone is wrong to try to compromise somebody's conviction. Even though I said those things to him to have him end up saving my life. The irony of the whole thing. And I wash his face because I thought I was blind. And if I hadn't got anything more, I'd have been well repaid. Wow. Okay, guys, well, that was Hacksaw Ridge. And this one was really tough. It was really good, obviously. And really intense yeah those war scenes really just really hard for me to like watch those war scenes i have like a lump in my throat and i feel sick and i just like tear up and i don't even know what to say it's just so staggering to see the loss of life it's just so intense really hard to watch but again an important story that needed to be told i'm glad i saw it i'm especially glad i saw this one because i had no idea you could be a conscientious objector in the military so that's a really interesting idea i want to look up more about that i don't really know how often that happens but it seems like it would be pretty rare you know this guy is such an example of how you don't have to have a gun and be killing people in the war in order to make a difference and be a hero you know so yeah this was a really sad but important movie i'm really really glad i watched it i'm not even sure if i said that much again just like in the saving private ryan reaction it was hard for me to even talk especially during the war se sequences i just get really choked up and it's just really hard to watch and just makes me feel sick i don't even know what to say what what do you say 
um, what can you say? I'm not gonna do an MVP or anything like that in this video, it's just not the right thing to do. This is a true story, we know who the hero of this story is, and that's all that needs to be said. So yeah, I'm really, really glad that I watched this one. It was beautiful, and Andrew Garfield was awesome. I already loved him, I think he's a really cool dude, but I, I haven't seen him in that much stuff, you know, besides like Spider-Man and that Facebook movie, so I want to see more stuff that he's in. If he's in more movies, more dramas, or comedy or whatever, I would love to see more Andrew Garfield. I think he's a really good actor. He's just so charismatic and he just has that quality about him, that indescribable quality where you just, you want to watch him, you want to root for him. I really, really liked him in this. He was really awesome. So cool that it's based on a true story and that the guy lived and, you know, the interviews at the end, that was really, really nice to see. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, man, it's really tough just watching these movies, just thinking about the loss of life. It's just tough, but I am very, very glad that I saw this one. Really important story and really different. It, it was a lot different than other war movies that I've seen in a good way, a story that needed to be told, an important story. I'm really glad I watched this one. Thank you guys so much for watching along with me today. I really appreciate it. I am really glad that I saw this movie. I hope that you guys had a good time and I will see you next time. Bye guys.